Hi everyone, I'm TC. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, a very big welcome to you too. I've got a few little shells here that I've been sort of playing around with and I think they've come out really nice. This one's my favourite. That's a um, little camouflage sort of pattern on there. I hope you can see that. I'll try and zoom in a little bit. There you go. Is that going to blur? I don't know. I think you can see that quite well. So this is my favourite. I think that came out really nicely. And they're totally waterproof. Well, they are now because I've coated them with some clear nail polish. But I did, I did do a little test with them before I actually varnished them. I kept putting them in water and sort of swishing them around and none of the colour came off. It seemed to be quite um, water resistant. Maybe that's because the shells are porous and the colour has gone right into it. So that, that's good. But anyway, I think they look nice whether they've been varnished or not. This one hasn't yet been varnished, but I think they come out really, really nice. So I will show you what I did. Just a quick little... So that's that one. I'll just put that, just put him over here. I'll just show you this titchy one I did before. Isn't that cute? It's really pretty, isn't it? Really pretty these ones colors are they're so gorgeous these colors come out really nicely you see one here it's like a little distressed sort of look i like that don't want to make sure it's no, i don't want to smudge it not that it really matters being sort of a camouflagey print but go right under there why not it's fun Often when the red and the green mix, it does actually make a nasty, well not nasty, but it does actually make like a kind of a dirty muddy colour, which I don't really want. I want to keep the colours nice and fresh and clean and bright. That's nice. I like the way that settles around those little bumpy bits there. That's really nice. I like that. I'm trying to keep my fingers out of the way, but at the same time, you need to see what I'm doing, so...
So that one's one we just did. There we go. I think he's come out quite nice. There we are. We'll put him there. Let's put that one out of the way. Okay. So that one's still wet. That one's dry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you how nice they look once they've got varnish on them. Now I'm just using very cheap clear nail polish. Actually, it's, it's good if you follow the grain of the um, shell like that. That way you get in all the little ripples and ridges. So that way it's all covered. Can you see how nice that looks now that it's varnished? See how pretty that is? So you can make a little hole in that and put it on a, a necklace or a keyring. So I'm going to paint this. This one's going to come up nice. I know it is because that blue, that's going to really look nice once that's um, got the varnish on it. So we'll do that one. Make sure I'm under, I'm in the frame there. Just slap it on. You see how it stays put? It doesn't even, um, it doesn't, the paint doesn't even move with the varnish. It doesn't move around. It just stays put. It's gone right into the shell, which is really good. See, so if I hold it up, you can see where the varnish, hang on. In there, try and get the light off it. There you go. You can see how nice that looks. See half of it's varnished. That half that I've just varnished looks really pretty. That brings out the colour. Really seems to bring out the colour. You see that brown also putting that varnish over those brown, that dark brown colour. It, it um, automatically looks darker and brighter, which is really, really nice. Any little bits that I miss where I'm holding it, I'll just screw them later in a little while when they're all dry. So there's that one. That one's, kind of, that one's just a bit dry. So put that one right there so you can see him. And then we've got this one we just painted. Yep, he's dry. Totally dry. So we'll put some nice varnish on him start on the top why not let it run into all those little lumps and bumps so that little bit there where my thumb is I'll just do that in a little while when it's dry I'm not gonna be able to put it down help 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 hang on I just need to I don't want to get stuck to my fingers there we go that's better now I can put him there see I stuck to my finger so I think they look really pretty so anyway that's just a sample of what you can do you can do all kinds of patterns so here's two that are not varnished you can see they look they look really pretty they look really sort of pastely pale pastely or opaque colours and they look really nice but I think when you varnish them they do actually pop there we are we'll do this one as well because we might as well there we go I can sit him on my finger how good is that So let me just make sure he's under in the frame because yeah, I think I put plenty on there, don't you? There we go. So there's that one too sticky no it's fine under there so we'll put him there next to his little friends I think they look really nice you see how nice that looks it looks really pretty now that it's varnished lovely colors that's really pretty it still looks denim blue um, it's not denim blue at all but that's 
tends to look blue on this camera here. It might look different on the video, so hopefully you'll see it at the right, uh, the true colour that it is. So that's that's really pretty. And these will last for ages. I like this one too. I really like this red one. I think red and green goes really nicely together. So that's that's it for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, maybe you could give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. That would be really great. I'd really appreciate that. Um, and thanks again for watching. I hope you come back and join me again next time. Bye.